So today is my day in the Zwift van. I'm here with Chris. We're just perched at a com, King of the Mountain, and this is what happened this morning. You know, sometimes this life can get rough. You get knocked down, but you gotta get up. Keep going. Absolutely, it was a short, short off season. When you start in down under, which is beginning of January, it's really short off season. It means like six weeks off the bike, right. and then you start training. So, how would you say the form is right now? Form is good. Yeah. I'm happy. I went really good through the winter. Yeah. It's true. We had, uh, yeah, obviously Swiss winter is below zero. We had freezing and snowy days. Yes. So I had to do some special heat acclimatization. Yeah. Which meant I went after every training, like half an hour, 40 minutes, every day 10 minutes longer, into the hot bath, 42 degrees water. So you start... That's quite hard because you come home from a Swiss winter ride, your fingers are frozen, your toes are frozen, and then into the hot water, it, it burns. So, but uh, then you start sweating after for like an hour on when you eat something. It's really, it's hard on the body, but good for the acclimatization. Wow. And the other thing we did was going on the rollers. We went on the rollers without a fan and the, the room where you did the actual home training session heated up a little bit. Yeah, okay. So you try to make the body sweat a lot. Yes, right. So all the preparation for nothing oh. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, the first day was really was a bit too much. It's always first day in a stage race that's nervous and additionally now the first day of the season obviously is nervous. Many guys have new teams so they try to make the best for the new lead out. You see nowadays we almost have no breakaways anymore because everybody has a task in the in the bunch. Yes. So it got really really stressful. And I don't know if it also has something to do with the Australian roads. They're like quite rough when you're in front you ride four, five, five hundred watts. Yes. It's super hard and in the back of the bunch you ride 120 watts. So yes. You're always fresh in the back, you come to the front and that gives like a push from the back to the front. Yes. And somehow this created a lot of crashes. I was yes. scared. But I got one secret that is always right on the side of the road, never in the middle. When you feel, because there's a tension in the bunch, you start feeling now they go down. Yeah. It's like building up tension, and it's the overkill, then they crash. In these moments when I feel it's too nervous right now, I take a side. So if they crash, I can always hop in the grass or go over, you know, I have a plan B. Yes. When you're in the middle of the bunch, you have no plan B. There's a plan A and that's crashing. But now for Ben, we really go for cheesy. Yeah. So my role is just bodyguarding, putting him in a good position. Like today in Corkscrew, yes. he has to be in the top 10 yes. at the bottom because if you're too far behind, you waste too much energy catching up. Yeah. So my job is just helping. I saw Mr. Bang Bang himself. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Lee Turner himself. There you go. Yeah, he went crazy. He was like, oh, where is Greg? We miss you, Bang Bang. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I love you. Broken wrists or something he did yeah. to his hands, but yeah. it was <laughs> nice to be here. G'day. Oh, we went for a ride on Corkscrew, took the guys up, good atmosphere. We got a beer and a beer and a burger. Lovely. Came down to finish. Yeah, yeah made it. I was surprised myself, Cam. Yeah. I, uh, How did you surprise yourself? Um, well, I made it up Corkscrew. I <laughs> didn't think I was going to do that. Before you jump away, if you've gotten value or enjoyed this video today, if you could kindly give it a like, that would be greatly appreciated. It's not to support my ego, it's a YouTube algorithm thing, helps the video and the channel out. 
Appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. One minute sprint after a beer, would you recommend it? If you want to get some head spins, sure. <laughs> what about you, Craig? You got to the, you got to the thousand watts? Yeah, yeah, hit the four digits. On the beers too, yeah, cheap night out, I reckon. I wish I